So Ibiza, or Ibiza, or whatever you want to say it, or Ibiza, um, the island that was born, or the island that created Balearic, that created acid house music, which then went on to explode throughout the world, and then made all its wealth, has now turned around and said, can't play music. And for the last year, we've known about this, and we've said, yes, we will. So we're taking a massive risk, we're taking a massive gamble. The momentum of clockwork and what we've created, which is on the beach, we're going for it. This is the clockumentary part, Therese. 25th anniversary. Do it again, but stop covering your mouth. Put your hands on your legs. I look like a fucking Val Dunican. Ready? Well, this is the clockumentary part, Therese. 25th anniversary. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You can do a thing at the end with the. What was all that about? <laughs> One, two. This is the clockumentary part, Trez. Are you sure? What? What? <laughs> do it again. <laughs> this is the clockumentary part, Trez. 25th anniversary. <laughs> Clockwork weekend. Um, I mean, it, it, it just started on such a high. So this year we stepped up again, we're doing a boat party on the, on the Thursday to launch the Clocky Live. moment I walked through the door, I just knew they'd nailed it. You know, just they had, it felt like a festival. It was just, it was just off the scale. It just it beat the 90s. We started to overtake the 90s. Everything I associated clockwork with is now starting to beat. Now I'm associating clockwork with what's going on now. I think more the hearing clockwork is the people out in the crowd saying we have a new home. It feels like Better Musa was it was just meant to be clockwork. Just a brilliant day from beginning to end. This is my first clockwork orange, but I absolutely really loved it. Preparing for the 
show because I really wanted to play a lot of the old classics that define club culture. So Spectrum, Future, Loud Noise, Land of Oz was for me with a four pioneer club. Great to see so many old faces. Lisa Loud was here. So good to see her. As it was so good to see many, many friends. And thank you to you and Clockwork Road. This off to us paradise. And everyone goes, has it changed? Why would you want to change it? Why would you want to change something so fucking beautiful? Something that's so amazing that when it didn't have a roof, it was basically, this paradise Torino, I've said it before, means it's paradise on earth. And that's what our crowd wants. Our crowd wants nostalgia. They want to make themselves feel, or we want to feel, like it was back in the 90s. Our sponsors for the documentary Park Trez this year are Acorn Insurance. And the owner of that company said to me, how are you going to connect Clockwork Orange Our Beef with an English insurance company? And I said, that's very simple, because it's owned by the man like Martin Gowin. And Martin Gowin, to me, was someone that when I was 14, 15 and 16, and later, in 86, 87, 88, was someone that I looked up to I aspire to be and I respected. He looked out for me. And in turn, that's our responsibility today to look out for the element who come to Clockwork Orange, the 10, 20% of the youngsters, who are the children of the people who came in the 90s, and the kids that want to come to experience what we're all about. And that is our responsibility. Last one's always the best, done. Don't use the word amazing. The word amazing is fucking shit, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome. Back in the old days, it was flyers, a piece of paper, actually, or a printed flyer. And on it, it'd have a telephone number. You rang that telephone number from a telephone box. There weren't no mobiles, kids. There weren't even internet back in the days when parties started. Where would you be without internet or Instagram or WhatsApp or fucking squiggly flip-flop, whatever it's called, or Snapchat, Caboodle, blah, blah, blah. There was nothing. But on these flyers, would have a telephone number. They'd ring a telephone number. You knew the DJs from a telephone box someone will tell you where to go. You go to a meeting point, from that meeting point they tell you where to go somewhere else. We based the beach on that emphasis, on the basis of that, that. There was no advertising, it was word of mouth. There weren't even a telephone number. You just knew about it. You knew it was gonna happen and you knew it was gonna be, let's just say it, plain old simple time, the bollocks. I think Danny and Andy really have, have got this weekend nailed down and I, I just think, Everything was perfect. I mean, obviously there was, there was worries over the beach and you know, with all the things going on and it just went seamlessly. There were them that said, they're gonna turn the music off. We said, they won't. There were those that said, they're gonna turn the music down. We said, they won't. Then they said, they're gonna stop the party. We said, they won't. You know why? 
people who have travelled from all over the world, Dubai, Thailand, Australia. People are coming from Australia for the beach. Some geezer with glasses, with a tie on, with a clipboard can just walk up, pen his mic in and the sword and go, this party can't go on, stop your music. But I'm like that geezer out of the film, like out of Gene Wilder film, the one with the geezer with a funny eye. And I'm looking at the DJ like that, and I got one eye on the fucking door, like that, making sure the police ain't coming. Will it happen, won't it happen? And the, the fear of it getting stopped yeah. was basically... Uh, Too much. Every, every time the manager went on his, um, his earpiece, I was just like... Ugh. I've done some insane shit in Ibiza, but to that, to me, is probably one of the most insane things. If it happens, it won't happen. Touch wood, power of the clockwork gods and the power of Tanit Beach, the Tanit, the god of Ibiza, she was here as well. I mean, Sunday, I, I think the gods were shining on Danny and Andy. Well, and, and everyone who's made this trip out here, I think that was, um, they were very, very, very lucky. And well, I think we're all very, very lucky to be here and have so many people coming out, you know, for such a special weekend. Clockwork Orange is like a tribe of people. It kind of has this Orange Army following. It has, um, you know, built up over a lot of years, a number of really true followers. Every year, the people from Ibiza that work here still, they get really excited and, and that one time that they're over here for that that weekend it's like you know you're going to see all your friends you know you're going to see all the old school crew of Ibiza everyone gets together and just celebrates just like it was in the olden days so yeah it's beautiful <laughs> I wanted to talk about the, um, the manager at um, NASA. I want to talk about Christopher. Because without him, well, let's talk properly. Without him, not him, because I'm not a bin man, um, yeah, from East End of London. But um, without him, it, it would happen, but it wouldn't be as great as what it is because he's behind the scenes making sure that everything flows and that everything from the year before that wasn't quite right, he makes right. And he's an amazing man, he's an amazing guy, and he needs a shout in this video. And this is a testament to him for making it happen. So thank you very much. magical as the beach? You never know. Will it be better than the beach? We never know. Will it be the new beach? Let's wait and see. Our insurers, I <laughs> Clockwork, oh, fucking hell. 
our insurers <laughs> do it again. Looked after me. That's just what me. Right. Looked up to be. Oh, fuck's sake. Right. <laughs> As uh, wished, ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Our sponsors, our sponsors for the documentary part, do our insurers. Ah, <laughs> what the hell you called it? You got it all in your head, you just can't get it out. Hold on, how many more fucking takes you want to do, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, take 15. Yeah, it's fucking shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> to show them the way, to look after them, to guide them, and to guide them, and to wisen them to our ways. <laughs> guide them. I love to be guided. That's German, isn't it? Yeah. I will guide you. Guide and hide and schmide it. Motherfucker. Free to feel good. Hello. Hello. One, two. One, two. It's an echo on the woods. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> ah, odds. Ah, chips. <laughs> One, two. One, two. It's off to scowl. You don't hear atmospheres. Atm atmospheres? There's no atmospheres, that's German. Atmosphere. Our sponsors for the documentary, part tres. Ah. Our sponsor. Ah. Our sponsors for the documentary, part tres. I'm sorry, I've got to say this. Mark's sweating. Mark's sweating behind the camera. Let him sweat, that's what like I say. Like a pedo in a playground. <laughs> no, not, not good, not good. Like a, let, not even, you can't even say about the people in the cake shop. The sound of Like a wizard hit him like a... <laughs> <laughs>